instead. Hey. Hey, everybody. Have Thanks for joining there. us. Hey, Chrissy. <laughs> hey. Sorry, I cut off, cut off just perfect intro. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> That's all right. Mm. <laughs> you may introduce me now. <laughs> It is our oh. our treasure, yes. <laughs> our queen, Chrissy. Yes. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's your introduction. I do, I do have a special important message for everybody, though. Um, no. In case anybody was wondering. See my title. I'm officially the director of pancakes at Inventory Lab. Mm. See, that's why this is a scandal. Yeah. Oh my God. Scandalous. <laughs> All right. So uh, let's see. I'll go into a little background on Chrissy. Uh, insider information you can maybe use against her. Yeah. Tell us who um, you are. <laughs> if you want. Um, so about me, I've been with Inventory Lab for going on six years this year in July. Um, I came straight, straight, ooh, straight from Amazon. If y'all were on with us yesterday, um, I have two little ones and a fiance and I live in Michigan and I'm a Spartan go green. I don't know <laughs> if anyone else is a Spartan out there. Um, I would say my favorite thing about inventory lab is the people in the company culture. As you can see, they are very great, but the worst thing about inventory lab, I will tell you, they have horrible horrible tendencies to give lots of dad jokes and they have horrible breakfast <laughs> horrible breakfast <laughs> if you saw yesterday um it was confirmed that our um, founders their favorite is pancakes and we officially made that the breakfast of inventory lab so the rest of the other people um it just doesn't matter so i think we should ask the crowd. <laughs> like, well, I mean, I agree about the pancakes, but I mean, did we make it official? Does that, did we really I, do that? Thing confirmed yesterday. We'll be giving the recordings out via email um, pretty soon. So you'll be able to see it yourself when we made it the official break. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no. Let's keep Kelly out of here with her go blue. All right. <laughs> All right, fill out that survey or that poll, pancakes or waffles. That's the that's the one thing that I have to ask people when I meet them is, are you a pancake person? Are you a waffle person? That tells me a lot about you. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question for you, though. <laughs> yes. How do you stop a rhinoceros from charging? <laughs> All right. It's very important to stop a rhinoceros from charging. You call customer service and dispute the charge. <laughs> that was awful. Just so, you, just so you guys know, in our show notes, she actually wrote, I answered the joke without laughing. Um, you, as you can see, you almost I mean, made it. I mean, almost almost made it. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, very seriously, and last thing um, before we move on to what everyone wants to see today, um, I have to tell y'all, guess what? So I ordered some cards, some playing cards from Amazon, right? And I didn't get it for like what? two weeks after my card party. And you know what customers Terrible. just told me? No, what? They said they're dealing with <laughs> I can't. I'm not good uh, at it. Where are the mom jokes out there? There you go. I deserve one more. <laughs> I made it just in time for the dad jokes to be over, and we're getting to see any better. And oh, everyone, no. out there with, <laughs> everyone out there with a bingo card, make sure you check your bingo card for a very specific I like this reason. Cheryl. Yeah. I like this one. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Get that bingo card ready. There you go. Get your bingo cards. I'm not sneezing. You really did have the sneeze on there? I thought we that did. was a joke. I that always, was a joke. Y'all aren't going to catch me sneezing today. I took a, um, a Zyrtec. So. <laughs> Good for you. You got to catch her. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, all right. Sorry Let's I'm late, you guys. I had some internet issues. Sorry about that. Oh, that's okay. Oh, no. It's a virtual event. <laughs> yeah, of course, out. you know. 
<laughs> it wouldn't be a surprise. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm-hmm. What's this? What's this? What? No. Uh oh, waffles. Oh boy. Oh, Lorena. We're not be related some family drama. <laughs> we have same last name. We're not related, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Now, Chrissy, I know that what you're really here to do is give us the five common aisle mistakes and what to do instead. So let's go ahead and get started. What's the first most common mistake? Oh, cool. Let's get started. Um, so by the way, we're adding something special to the bingo car. Um, we're going to hope that Jeff keeps up with me. And if he doesn't, just check it off at a random box. <laughs> what? Okay. That'll be a good bingo. Right. So let's, let's hope Jeff can keep up. <laughs> Challenge accepted. All right. <laughs> All right. So the first one I think is one of the most common is just not entering your buy cost info the correct way. And um, this might get people newer to Inventory Lab because you see right here in your sales pages that it's easy to just go in and enter your cost right there, your supplier. But this is designed technically only for if this does not exist in your regular inventory and your archived inventory. And the reason for that is your inventory purchasing information is made to fill in all of those transactions that you get. And so you want to put them here so that they can automatically flow to your sales pages, your refunds, reimbursements, and things like that. So what you want to do instead is come to the inventory page and you can do it one by one by clicking into your inventory. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. You can put it in here. One by one. Um, If you have a lot of them, though, you definitely want to do it in bulk. And so a couple of ways that you can do that, if you have no replenishments, meaning zero in this column over here, you can do an import, well, an export of your inventory pages right there. And then you want to fill those in and you want to import it. And keyword is if you do not have replenishments, because um, otherwise it will send you to do what we call bulk edit. And so the bulk edit is the one that you want to use. That's cool. That's one of our newer features. And what this will do is add it to a draft, what we call a draft. And you and a team of up to 50, well, not up to 50, like actually an unlimited amount, but you kind of want to keep it small, (laughs) um, can go in and fill it out just like a spreadsheet. And so you can do it one by one. If you have a spreadsheet that you're working from, you can actually copy from that and paste it because there's a cool click and drag feature. And this is how you're going to do it, even if there are replenishments. So you see replenishment one through 11 here. Jeff can just wipe that out or or if he's a disgruntled employee or add that in here. And so you want to make sure if you're using this and you are working with a team that you all kind of collaborate, because if one of you finalizes that draft and no one else saved, um, it's going to just save your stuff. And that's not fair. As my little one says, that's not fair. (laughs) All right. Great job, Jeff. (laughs) Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) Now, these are definitely going to make sure that your buy costs are showing properly in all of your transactions throughout Inventory Lab. Okay. So after that, what's the second uh, common mistake that we see usually? Um, Another one that we see, and this could be even for uh, more seasoned Inventory Lab users, is making sure all of your settings are up to your liking. Settings are set to your liking. Ha, ha, ha. Um, and this is just because you there. I know, right? I'm just jokey today. <laughs> but um, this is because there are things you might not even notice um, what the settings do. So definitely take the time to go down the list and see. So for example, this one, um, even just the entry point we're setting up where you start an inventory lab to custom MSQs to your research shortcuts are in here um, while you're while you're chatting we're listing um your print settings and setting up um automatic barcode printing or even adding your expiration date and then you see research there but you you have your um research settings where you can add your ideal buy your desired roi and ranks everybody probably set up their ideal buy but if you haven't played with your desired roi or your rank thresholds those are really good settings and for lists things like setting up your auto pricing your min and max auto condition notes um you know use booksellers this one could be a game changer where it just fills it in once you click your um click your your condition 
Remember at last, remember last entry while listing. Um, that helps while you're listing to fill in the last thing that you put. So you don't have to, if you know, like you have the same stuff over and over again, you want to choose that so that it just automatically fills it in. So that one's pretty cool. And then integrations. Um, all of our repricing partners are here. You can check out their presentations and their booths. And if you do decide to try any out or if you have them, here's where you want to go to hook them up. And these are cost per unit. Um, this is a cost per unit integration where it syncs them over into your repricer. Yeah, that's a great idea, Chrissy, for everyone to just go through their personal settings, see which ones would save them time. Um, so what's the third most common mistake that you see being made? Okay, the third one is, and this may be controversial to some of you who've been doing this all the entire time, but not doing your um, batches in the correct order. And so if you see at the top, there's like a one, two, three, four that we try to take you through. And so you would just, when you review your batch, submit it, get to those shipments, and we're going to pause here because I just want to vote or say that this one is very, very important that if you have multiple shipments, you want to make sure that you are creating them all right here, right now. Um, I know some people like to wait and do them one at a time, but it's probably very best to create them all because you can see that countdown there. And if they expire, it's going to refresh all of your plans and it could duplicate your shipments. You probably will end up starting over. So you might as well, because it's required by Amazon anyway, if you create one, you have to create them all. You might as well just go ahead and create them all here so that we can move on to the next step, which is, uh-oh, uh-oh. Can Jeff keep up? Should we do a countdown? Can you do a countdown? <laughs> <laughs> Enter your box content. That's the next step. And so once you do this part here, click to enter your box contents, assign them real quick. Uh oh you have so many. <laughs> Oops. And you have multiple expiration dates. <laughs> it's fine. Once you do all of those, though, and you send them off, what it should do is properly close your batch and take you to the close batch page. We'll just go there. Yep, it'll take you there. It'll close it completely and it'll make it just a closed batch. You'll see it in there. And that's how you know that it is officially done in Inventory Lab. And just a quick thing for Sims Amazon. Remember, we want to make sure we get that green box before we hit Seller Central because as we know now, you can't make changes after that. It's like a test where they're like, pencils down, pencils down. It's done. Once you get into Seller Central, no changes. All right. And so what happens if you do it the other way? So let's take a look at the other way that you could do it. Say you're on that create shipment screen. You can go here, hit that hamburger and do box content information. And you may notice it says transmit updated boxes and that this is for if you need to make changes at all. Say you forgot something and you caught it before you went to Seller Central. You could come here and make those changes and transmit those updated boxes. And so if you do it here, what will happen when you're done and your shipments are all gone from over there, you'll get this beautiful blank batch. Ta-da! And that doesn't look great. And so you can definitely close it manually, but we just want to get into the habit of doing it in that first way because it helps with less confusion. If you are pretty sure you sent it and you see this batch here, you're not sure what to do with it, or maybe you forget to create some stuff, it's just easier to just go step by step. Right. And that also helps you save some clicks. So that's pretty helpful. And we love a save click. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so the fourth mistake would be ignoring or not understanding the reason for these, your inventory alerts. And that's these little cautions, yellow, I guess they're caution signs. Um, and what these show you, it means that they're alerting you that what you told us that you sent to Amazon fully, it does not match up to what Amazon sends back to us as what you sold, your transactions, in transit, and on hand amounts. And so to see this easily, you can just filter real quick to see has alerts. And so this is how you get your research started. So if you click on one of these... You'll see in the replenishments, here, go to the replenishment page real quick. You'll see that we can, we'll show you how much you purchase. This is your purchase quantity that you told us, all of your purchasing information. But above that, you see there's in transit, there will be on hand. You'll see some shipped and sold. This is a test account, so 
the numbers will be wonky or there'll just be a bunch of zeros because we don't sell anything. Um, but here is where it's important because in that alerts tab, it's going to give that calculation for you. You see there's a quantity difference of two. So there's two that aren't accounted for. And there's a lot of reasons as to why. So we created this article for you. Oops. There it is. We'll create this article for you that takes you through all the different reasons that you could have an inventory alert. And it also helps you to kind of figure out what you need to do because sometimes it could be you need to adjust quantities in inventory lab. Maybe you took something out of your boxes and forgot to edit it. Um, you might need to do nothing and wait for Amazon to just update their reports. There's that. Or, and this is a really good part for inventory alerts, you may need to reach out to Amazon for an investigation to see what happened to your items. Um, and if that, I mean, you might be owed reimbursements. And so you definitely want to check into these inventory alerts and not wait too late. Um, I'm not sure if Amazon still has that limit on when you could, um, request like investigations or reimbursements, but you kind of want to check on these periodically to make sure there's nothing wrong between, you know, there's no discrepancies. That's a great tip, Chrissy. Um, and it looks like we're almost at the end here. So give us your final mistake. That's most common when using inventory lab. Okay, so the final one, and I am most biased because besides being the director of pancakes all day, um, I am also a customer <laughs> happiness manager, head of support. And so I think not using your support resources. So in your account, you can contact us through support. You might meet Champy, um, our helpful assistant. <laughs> um, you, we also have lots of articles and plenty of video tutorials in our support portal. Right here. And so you can come here. We have a user guide, troubleshooting video if you're a visual learner. Um, and we also, in this bottom part here, you see webinar and customer coaching resources where you'll see on demand. Um, you may have met some of our customer coaches here um, if you follow the Booster IL game for this conference. But these are live sessions in small groups. So if it's something you're interested in, um, you definitely want to check a customer coaching. And we call it Kuko, if you hear me say that by accident. <laughs> but this is yes. where you can check out. You can sign. Andrea does one. And Jeff does one, yep. actually. So you can see them. If you want to go to their classes every single time they have one and just be there with them, then you can, you can see them all the time. But um, we're looking to expand more for sure. But these are your coaching classes. And they're good fun. And you get to ask lots of questions if you need to. Mm -hmm. um, and then... We also have our YouTube channel, all of our social media. Um, YouTube is where all of our videos also go, along with some of our past webinars and our open labs near and dear to our heart. We have Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram, and we post tips, Amazon news, and lots of chances to win some swag. And so, speaking of swag, I guess we should do it right now. Um, I'm going to check in the comments to see who agreed with me for pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're getting swag. You're getting swag. So let's see. <laughs> Melanie, Cheryl, Thomas, you're getting swag. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, Another yeah. thing that we're... Uh, uh, I was going to say another thing that we're looking to create an in inventory lab is uh, creating inventory lab university for free courses for our users. And we'll be dropping a poll right now to see and let us know if you'd be interested in ILU. Yeah, I'll put that right now. Let us know if that's something um, that you'd like to see, just courses um, about a lot of different things that can take you through the ins and outs of inventory lab for sure. I have a fan of your hair. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> they were calling me Triance today. <laughs> it is. Yeah. 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 Priance. yeah. I don't know. I kind of think maybe uh, there was run on waffles or we're not. Maybe this poll is fixed. I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> It is. If you got the right answer, you got the right answer. <laughs> there is only one right answer. Sorry, Lorena. I was trying. <laughs> All right. So uh, now it's time for Q&A. So if you have any questions for Chrissy, pop those in uh, to the Q&A or are we doing the chat? 
Um, I guess we should do Q and A. Yeah, we'll do Q and A. Let me uh, turn it on. Okay, there we go. Q and A now. Feel free to uh, ask Chrissy anything you'd like. We'll see if she answers. We'll see. <laughs> uh, in the meantime, though, is uh, Detroit really Rock City? Honestly, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say yes. If someone's from Detroit, calls it Detroit Rock City. All right, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's true. It's just mainly because of all the great artists and bands that originated from there. So That makes sense. Yeah. I have a question. Can can we revoke the swag for Thomas? Oh, no. I'm sorry, Thomas. Thomas, you were you were there. <laughs> we were with you. And then you added the ketchup. Maybe, close, maybe they mean potato pancakes. <laughs> you can uh, save it though oh, yeah, if you say French toast. Yeah, maybe potato pancakes. Yeah. I'll accept it for potato pancakes. <laughs> oh no, then he said this thing here. Sorry. Yep. Go blue. Go blue. Yeah, go blue. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you liked Chrissy, Thomas. I thought you liked her. So, Chrissy, who's your uh, favorite Michigan State alumni? Famous. Oh, uh, so say me. Yeah, I was going to, I had to clarify. <laughs> Listen, I'm from Detroit. I graduated from Michigan State. I don't know. I can't even name the people that I knew while I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Magic Johnson. I just got it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Magic. <laughs> you yeah. got it. You got it just in time. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. So Chrissy, for anyone oh. who's who's wondering out there, why do you hate on waffles so much? I don't hate on waffles. I think that it's not as good as pancakes. I think everyone's missing what the debate is about. If I had a waffle here and a pancake here, I would go for the pancakes. That's I just think waffles, waffles are too hard to eat. They're crusty and I... They can be crusty. They're hard to yeah, eat. but they know. hold those, they have those pockets where you can store the syrup. It's just... Well, fantastic. if you make it, you yeah, have to have pancake. special equipment. You don't yes. need special equipment to make. You can like go outside in the sun with a rock. And cook a pancake. <laughs> Wait, have you tried that? No, like, but I'm assuming from experience. <laughs> I'm assuming our ancestors had to make pancakes some way. You're gonna have to visit Las Vegas in the summer and try it on the sidewalk. I bet you could. Oh, no. Yeah, try it on the sidewalk. You probably definitely could. <laughs> well, in the desert she. for sure. <laughs> All right, so Christy, if you had a dog. What would you name it? Aww. Um, I actually used to create lists of dogs I wanted with their names. I think right now, maybe I would do Achilles or Beowulf. Ooh, Ooh. I love that. One of my yes. friends, her, uh, her, one of her dearest dogs was named Achilles, and he was such a good boy. He's so cute. Wouldn't you I think you'd yeah. dogs named Beowulf, too? That is, I think that was supposed to be a husky. Oh, and then I, I was going to, I'm an anime fan, Inuyasha, and I was going to name one Inuyasha. I had a whole list. I, I did things like Inuyasha. that. Inuyasha. Mm -hmm. oh, I still make You can call them Yasha so. for short. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yasha, no. <laughs> that would be cute. <laughs> okay, true or false? Gretchen Whitmer is a Michigan State alumni. Alumnus, yeah. I guess it's. Do you say true? True. Yeah, you're right. right. <laughs> I cheated. Oh, you know, look it up. You know, KJ, KJ has. No. <laughs> knows everything about Michigan State. So, How yeah. about uh, James Kahn? Like, oh yeah, we have yeah, we James have an Conn. actual question. We have an, yeah, we have an actual question in the queue. Oh. Wait, let's All right. Here. Thomas. So are we saying when is it actually going to go away? I think that's what I mean. Because it was supposed to be March 1st. Yeah. And we've seen it still there. Mm -hmm. um, I I believe we're honestly just treating it almost as if it's going. You could still use it. But I just have worries that since it's not supposed to be there, you know, um, 
you send stuff in through that old workflow and there could just be something that happens. That's I, I only do say that with caution, but it is still there. We don't know when they're going to snatch it away. They haven't um, updated anything yet to say. Yeah, and each time you um, select uh, the new send to Amazon, work, or uh, each time you select the old workflow, they're going to ask you um, why. So make sure you fill out um, any sort of, um, you know, pain <laughs> points that you have with the, the, yeah, any feedback, any pain points that you have with the new send to Amazon um, thing, because it is different. So uh, make sure you fill out that survey. They're going to ask you every time you switch back to the old workflow. So, okay. Ooh, pancakes Fun were fact in, for you. in 600 BC. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I stand corrected because wow. here I am laughing at Chrissy for going, like, who's going to be outside our ancestors making pancakes? When do you think they were invented? <laughs> well, a really long time ago. <laughs> okay, Melanie, yeah. what are your feelings on French toast? Got to know. Mm. Not great. Mm. Is your name Melanie? <laughs> it could have been. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever get that in school when you'd answer a question and the teacher would say, is your name so-and-so? That's who I asked. Why are you talking? Yes. Yeah. No, because I was a good student. Aww. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Thomas. Um, I he would highly the new sent to Amazon. Yeah. I would highly suggest that you do a practice because once they take it away and you're like you're forced into it, it there it's a learning curve. <laughs> and I say yeah. that the most professional there is. point. It's a learning curve. So definitely try a couple of um, pretend batches with inventory lab to see how you like it. Um, yes, <laughs> I have to say on, on that. <laughs> yeah, make sure you test it out. <clears throat> I think, I, is it just the ratio of ingredients? Because I feel like you use the same stuff, but they taste different. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't. A waffle doesn't taste like a squarey or a holy pancake, and a pancake doesn't taste like a less crusty, dry waffle. <laughs> so it has to be, it, it's probably the ratio of ingredients that makes it taste different. I can't think of anything else that would set it apart. Oh, here's a good one. The, yeah, the better Rebecca, question is powder. Why sugar not both? Why both, not Rebecca. Both? Yeah, both. <laughs> why not dump it on there? I might even toss on. Uh, jam or jelly too just really get crazy so what we didn't add to the mix beignets oh, am yeah, i right beignets. is yeah. that a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really i think good. that's an anytime food you're well you are know, pancakes on you're in, anytime food? have you not heard of pancakes? you're in new orleans it's it's one o'clock in the morning you want to go to cafe du monde and you want to have some nice little coffee yeah, and some nice beignets <laughs> yeah, we found a place that's even better than that, though. What was the name of that place, Chrissy? Well, I know. I, I don't think you went to. No, you did. Because we went to Cafe Beignet when we went to a conference together in New Orleans. And Cafe Beignet was really good. Um, and that's what we brought you back. But yeah. we also went to this restaurant there that had really good beignets. So I didn't I didn't <laughs> care too much for the Cafe Du Monde ones, but um, they were just more dense than I was expecting. Ooh, Melanie loves bread. French yes. toast made with challah bread. That's yeah, that's so the only good. way to make it is with challah. Yeah. A nice quick reminder. Salah. Quick reminder for Thomas, Cheryl, and Melanie: make sure you uh, send your mailing address to support at inventorylab.com so we can get those swag boxes to you. Yeah. Yeah, and, and that goes for anyone watching. If you were a winner um, of anything trivia. Um, social media. If you haven't already, make sure you send your mailing address to support at inventorylab.com because that's and the only way we're going to find Christy's you. Christy's favorite French toast recipe. She's going to include that. So. <laughs> uh, sure. Ooh, look at Melanie Ooh. talks about Melanie's talking about crawfish. Right. Menus. That doesn't sound like Ooh. a breakfast food, Christy. No, but it sounds cool. I wonder if they make it. They just, maybe they just stuff it. That sounds really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does. That does sound good. Sounds really good. All right. Well, we're at uh, we're at the end. Yeah. We don't have any more questions. We're we have a short break, and then uh, 
you head on over to your tracks. But uh, don't forget, we have closing closing remarks at 3.30 on the main stage. You'll have another opportunity to win swag. And so, and yep. don't forget to do your bingo. So, oh, what can we get bingo. for you right now? Wait, wait, wait. Scout, can you see my screen? What else can we get for you while you're here? This is what happens when you attend this session. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, man. Um, <laughs> achoo! Uh, it sure is overcast and cloudy here in upstate New York. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Michigan, if anyone else is here too. And it is sunny outside. Was that, was I think that's one of them too. Um, Sorry, I was uh, um, on mute there. Oh, oh. yep. Y'all heard dad jokes. Yep. Yeah. And sign up for that customer coaching course. That's mm -hmm. a real one. And once you do that, yeah. like. And you watch the rest of the sessions, you got a bingo. We got, we got you. Sign up, we got, you got a sign bingo. up for inventory best practices. That's the best KUKA course. That's the best. Um, uh, <laughs> um, um, I already did that. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, um but just in case no one it. heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Mish, right. there's Irish Heels. Oh, Wait. there we go. Someone in the comments is from your state. Yep. Ooh, I was in the comments, and so was Melanie, and so was Lorena. So you got it. There but you go. I need to look up yeah. Irish Hills now. If that where's that if I can't in. Not super far. I mean, it's not saying <laughs> not saying anything, but it's not <laughs> so that's cool. <laughs> all righty. Well, all right. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we'll right. see you in the next sessions. Mm -hmm.